Normally, I tell you to hype responsibly. It is something I put on repeat. Keep your hype in check. Don't let yourself get massively disappointed whether an event comes or not. But I'm finding this increasingly hard to do personally in, heading into this week. Yes, we've had all the rumors, Jeff Grubb and others saying there's probably a direct this week. I know Jeff Grubb didn't 100% commit to it. He just said what he heard. But Nate the Hate has now come out and committed to it. He did a podcast a couple days ago where he said, yeah, Nintendo Direct announcement's happening in uh, the next few days, which meant early this upcoming week. But <laughs> he went on Spawncast last night and just came straight out and said there's a Nintendo Direct this week. It's just happening, right? Now, I know some of you guys don't feel like it's this week yet. Sunday's the beginning of my week for me. For some of you guys, it's the end of the week. I understand weekend, Saturday, and Sunday are part of the weekend, so it's the end of the week. I get it. I know. We all look at our calendars differently. But for me, Sunday's always that turning point, at least into that next week. So for me, the next week has already really begun. And I'm having a hard time hyping responsibly. And I want to talk about that. Because a dangerous thing happens when we overhype ourselves. And that dangerous thing is an effect on our mental state. I, I think, you know, the anger and stuff like that that some people get, I think, is a bit overdone. But there are some people that do get super excited for these events. Like, they're the highlight of their week. It's their gaming Christmas of the week. And Nintendo Direct, we only get two to three of them per year, usually three. Uh, yeah, we get partner showcases and stuff. But these big Directs, we only usually get two to three of them every year. So they are a big deal. But a lot of us tie a lot of emotional value behind this stuff. And I am... Definitely one of them. I have three children and a fiance and, and had a lovely weekend so far uh, with, with my family. But I, I just, I want to keep in perspective everything that's headed into this week and why people like me are having such a hard time. And probably people like you, maybe you watching this video are having a hard time hyping responsibly. We're highly likely having a Nintendo Direct this week. I think, it'd be, I mean, at this point... I'm just going to say it. We're having a direct this week. If we don't, it's not my sources, but then everyone else is wrong. So we're having a Nintendo direct this week. And that means that we are almost assuredly going to see Tears of the Kingdom. And look, you guys can, can say maybe I'm, I'm letting myself get too hyped for a game that has no promises beyond Sky stuff. And I get it. But Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time. Breath of the Wild fundamentally changed my life in many aspects and it feels weird to say that because am i a different person today because of breath of the wild no but things that did for me at that time of my life really mattered and heck yulia is getting really deep in the breath of the wild right now herself my fiance and it's making a change in her life she's becoming a much happier person to be around um, she is finding things to fill that time that she used to spend you know maybe letting her mind wander into the dark spaces and instead enjoying the light that breath of the wild is bringing into her life so you know video games can have a profound impact on us and because of that tears of the kingdom coming out isn't just another game to me like fire emblem you know engage i was excited for that game coming out i was excited for sparks of hope last year i even got a review copy and reviewed the game for you guys i know basically nobody watches the review because nobody watches my videos for reviews, right? Like that's that's just not the base I built up. Right? You guys are here for the news and the discussion around the news and the hype and you know maybe some gameplay here and there. But uh, you guys are here to talk about games. You're not necessarily here to hear my opinion on if a game is good or not. But I, I find it to be fascinating looking at this Tears of the Kingdom situation because it is the game of games for me. This is all that matters to me in 2023 when it comes to video games. Uh, look, we can get another Mario game. like we got Mario Odyssey 2, that's great. We can get F-Zero Remastered, that'd be great. We can get Metro Prime 4, and I'll be really excited for that. And look, we're going to cover all these games coming to Switch. It's not like we're just going to only talk about Tears of the Kingdom all year. But Zelda holds a special place in my life. I don't know if it holds a special place in yours, but without Zelda, I wouldn't be here talking to you guys through the camera lens here into this nice microphone getting that audible stuff into your ears. I, that, that podcast that a lot of people love, you know, where we had Kit and Krista on and Player Essence and Super Metal Dave and uh, all the rest, Mike Odyssey, Andres Restart, um, Hoops and Hip Hop, Mandy Lee Plays, et cetera, et cetera. Like, all these people that we've had on our show wouldn't happen. None of this would happen. None of us would be here listening and watching this and enjoying this content together, me making it, you ingesting it, if it wasn't for Zelda. Ocarina of Time got me into the 
in, into the franchise hardcore. It was Link's Awakening was my first book. Ocarina of Time is what led me into creating a fan website, which ultimately, long haul, led to this YouTube channel uh, and me taking this YouTube thing seriously in 2017. Uh, I had no idea at the time that I would be a full-time YouTuber. I, I kind of always, in the back of my mind, um, I hoped it would be a dream, but here I am. Fast forward, you know, from 2017 to 2023, and I am now a full-time YouTuber uh, making content on my favorite video games. And I, I find this to be quite the journey that I owe directly to Zelda and, and the various ways it's impacted my life. And there's a reason the Zelda franchise has maintained as my uh, personal favorite franchise. doesn't have all of my favorite games. Like, yeah, Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time. Before that, my favorite Zelda game was Zelda 2, but Zelda 2 wasn't my favorite game of all time. So Breath of the Wild is, you know, that big of a gap from where my favorite Zelda game used to be. And I know a lot of you guys cringe by me mentioning Zelda 2 The Adventure Link as my now second favorite Zelda game. But still, Zelda's always been my favorite franchise, uh, even though I've ranked individual games higher than Zelda until Breath of the Wild. So Tears of the Kingdom to me, this is just, this is my gaming Christmas. This is, you know, everyone's like disappointed. Oh, Nintendo won't be at E3. Zelda's coming out before E3. I'm so excited for this that I went ahead and got press badges for me and Eric for PAX East just in case Tears of the Kingdom is playable at PAX East. That's right. Making a, a specific trip to a different part of the country to play the game early if it's possibly available there. We don't even know yet, but you know what? To go, you got to book and make the plans now where you're not going to be able to go, right? So I got two press badges already uh, ready to go so I could set up a private demo and, and wherever else I'm going to need to set up to uh, play Tears of the Kingdom early, presuming that Tears of the Kingdom will have a presence there. We don't know if it will be, but Tears of the Kingdom does happen in March. Or, or sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. PAX East does happen in March, which is before the game comes out. So we're kind of hoping that we get an announcement that it's going to be present at PAX East. But I'm just, I'm, I'm a little flabbergasted, you know? Um, I've been waiting for this particular direct, I think since the game was announced. We know when the game is coming out. So this is the beginning of the marketing campaign. And look, we're going to hear some other fantastic things, right? GameCube remasters, you know, we might hear about some of those. Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp, a lot of people are excited about that. Maybe a new Mario game. Maybe we see some more of the Mario movie. I have no idea. We could see a bunch of things in this Direct because I don't know if we're going to get another one until September. But what I do know is that Tears of the Kingdom is causing me to not be able to follow my own rule. I'm not hyping responsibly. I'm scared that I'm not hyping responsibly. I'm scared about being disappointed. I am scared uh, about a lot of things with this Direct. And all of that fear comes from me being hyped. But you know what? For this Direct, I'm just going to let myself enjoy the hype. I've decided, as I get to the end of this video, I'm taking off my hype responsibly new clothing, the sunglasses are being removed from my eyes, from my brain. And we're hyping it to the moon and back, baby. Because you know what? It might be another five, six years before we get our next console Zelda game. That's how long it might be. So I'm going to bask in this a little bit. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to ride this hype train. I'm going to hopefully absolutely love everything they show about this game at the Nintendo Direct. Be jumping out of my seat live reacting with all of you guys getting super hyped and excited. And, and going to be whew, hyping it to the moon. This game, baby, if you're tired of hearing about Tears of the Kingdom on my channel, if you're tired of talking Zelda, you are at the wrong channel. I'm just going to tell you right now. Tears of the Kingdom is going to be getting covered almost daily from the moment this Direct happens until the game comes out, and maybe even for multiple months after, because the bottom line is, this is my coup de grace this year. This is what started my journey and is bringing my journey full circle here in 2023. I'm 36 years old, baby. Been doing this, gosh, 24 years, and it's happening with Zelda. I'll take that, baby. I'll take that. You guys let me know how you're feeling about this direct. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you trying to hype responsibly, but you're like me and you just you can't help it. You're so excited. 
oh man, it's just, it's bubbling in there. I want to let it out. So expect a very, very happy Nate all uh, week long. And if the direct gets announced on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever, just my video on that is going to be so high energy because no matter how tired I might be that day, the direct itself is going to fly me to the moon. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.